year ago. And Walter Hammond came in and uh, stole the limelight. Let's see what uh, Quinnville can do. Brian Christian, the dead car, led a bunch of laps in the Enduro last night. Uh, a third, fourth, fifth, somewhere in that neighborhood. Had a good run and a little more focused. Yes, the depth. Some little American made push box. So here we go, that's your front row, both green flag flies around the line. So we are going to line these guys up. 
race control coming over the race keepers. They have one-way control to the drivers. So they are going to tell them the lineup and get them lined back up. Of course, this is Quinnville the leader, the 78, Ryan Christen in the 10 car. Quinnville ran these style cars over at Devil's Bowl when it was asphalt for a number of years. Devil's Bowl was a half-mile paved oval for a number of years. And Quinnville won a pile of races over there with that Black Diamond Builders team. This is the car they ran on the asphalt. Ryan Christian has got lots and lots of laps on asphalt. Of course, most of them are in like enduro cars and that sort of stuff. So this is a little funky for him. James Patton, until a year ago, had never raced a car on asphalt. What you can see when you see these, these modifiers and they take their trip around the track, the only time all four tires are on the pavement is basically on the caution lap. Yeah. When, yeah. when they go green, the, the guys that are really quick will keep the left front on the ground a little bit. The guys that uh, maybe don't have it figured out so much, they're going to carry that left front. And last year, the 70 car, that black and red machine was Lenny Bilfrey at the wheel. He was a show all to himself as he carried that left front for a long way, and it was way high in the air. That 70 was definitely one of the more interesting by qualifying and also practice earlier. Car number 17. That is Jimmy Morgan. JSM number 17. Morgan with lots of experience here at Claremont Motorsports Park. He had a stint where he ran pro stock here at the race track. Moved over from the dirt to run the asphalt. Ran a number of years in the pro stock division here at the racetrack. Took a few years, moved back to the dirt, but took a few years off and moved back to the dirt. So Morgan was the experience here on the asphalt. Jamie Furman in that 21 car, he's done a little bit of everything. Now screws for Brian Roby. The 21 star MP is going to win. Spent most of his time working on that operation for the Rogue 2 won four championships here. The Kicks five championships, three track championships, the battle for the Cops and the Hampshire State Championships in Rogue 2 won. Smile on that stuff last night. So, congratulations to the Kicks and the
Yeah, he hit him right over on the back stretch, right in front of the uh, Kamalo supermarket sign there. I would have guessed he probably broke the tie rod in. I'm afraid he broke something. Pretty big. Play not for one here, take one with the duty to wreck the front of the car. He is broken. Jimmy LaDuke got really, really aggressive on that reef. Kick your eyes. So there's two 36s. The one more towards the front that's got a little more orange, and the orange is brighter, but it's got white numbers. You get all that. Oh, yeah. You, you get all that. Holy cow. <laughs> they are very similar. I'm though. not really sure where I dressed all that up. So that's the 36X. That's Jimmy LaDuke. He is a multi-time double multi-way winner champion. Yeah, with auto entry. This is Carter on his further back. Let's try a little more. In that 36th machine, the other 36th. Like that 36th is a little more white. With like the black X. That's orange. Yeah, it's orange number three. Yeah, I know. No shortage of contact when these guys go <laughs> around the track. Oh, goodness. We wouldn't necessarily have expected that. Although Ladu has a certain reputation of being very aggressive. And you can see the front of the front of the front of the front